Welcome back everyone to the Lifesteal SMP. Today, I have something pretty great in store for you guys. My company, MOB, is getting bigger. And with that size increase, we have to increase the means of production. Today, I'm going to take you to my secret personal base. No one but me has ever set foot in here, so I hope you enjoy. This base was originally created to kit me out with everything I would need for a fight, but with a little modification we could turn this into something that could produce gear for the whole server. What is that? Wait, that is not my base. Hold on. What did I just find? I gotta investigate this. Okay, so this looks like it used to be an animal farm, and there's sugarcane there. So there must be a base nearby. That's not a naturally occurring hole. That's not naturally occurring. So usually people would put sugarcane right outside their door. So I'm gonna check there. Oh, there's a village here. Okay. Let's check out. Maybe there's a base under here. That would make sense. If they move the villagers down. Yeah, it seems like there's no villager left anymore. That means they all must have been moved underground. Alright, a cave. That's not what I was expecting to find. I wonder if I could use Entity Count to find out where the villagers are, but... Oh! Wait! 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 This is not a... It's not a spawner. <gasps> we found it. We found the base. Okay. Um, I should leave it so that nobody knows that I've been here, okay? Probably, probably this goes there after the fact. Oh no! Um, I hope they don't notice this. So that was a uh... <laughs> right, right. Okay, can't get hung up on that. We wanna. What is this? He's just chilling there. Oh my god. <laughs> Has this been looted? I think this might have been looted already. No way, I've seen this. I've seen this before. I think this might be Rec Rap Space. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is cool. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. This was not even... Wait, Vitality? Oh my god, this might be where Oasis and Vitality live. Oh my god. Would you look at that. This is so cool though, I did not expect to find such a big base on the server today. Second floor needed? Oh, this is their storage room, let's see how rich they are. Alright, iron. Copper. Okay. Where are the diamonds, bro? I just want the diamonds, honestly. Oh, this inventory? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's for that's for another video. That's for another video. Let's just uh store that away. Before that, I, I was mining, but I, you'll see that video real soon, I'm sure. Maybe not soon. It's gonna take a while, but you're gonna see it. Girls only oasis. Yeah, this is yeah, this is definitely. Oh wait. Oh, this is their... Okay. Nether I hope? Oh! <laughs> Nobody saw that. There's nothing behind here, right? Oh, what if I... Oh. My. God. How did we... What is he doing with that much gunpowder? There are so many secrets. That was... <laughs> I cannot believe that. He's got his mending books here. And some random junk. Honestly... Honestly, it, d does he really need a, a secret room for all this? I feel like there's like more, you know? 
Anything around here? For now, I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm actually in, on good terms with Vitalis and Oasis, but... My god. What a find. I haven't been up yet. Okay, this is their entrance. And they're gonna know that I dug around, so I might want to fix that. That was... <laughs> that was a, a welcome diversion. Alright, and here we are coming up on our base finally. It took a while. It is pretty far out from spawn, but uh, yeah, with a little detour we arrive here. Now you might draw some similarities between the base we just saw in my base, and you know, that's completely fair. Though I've, I've tried my best to keep this village as uh, untouched as possible. Like, you could see some of the villagers still running around, and uh, the doors aren't blocked up. Should have left, yeah, should have left the beds intact. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to camouflage it as best I can because this is the first time anybody other than me is going to be able to see this base. So, uh, <laughs> prepare. Ta-da! 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 Okay, it's not much to look at, I'll be honest, but nobody but me was supposed to see this. But you know, projects change, and now I think it's finally time to get this get this whole thing ready for greater things. All right, so here's the plan. I need diamonds for this one project I'm working on right now. So to get diamonds, I want to be able to sell full god sets, right? And Let's do just normal diamond sets, not not netherite, because netherite would take a lot of external mining. And let's charge 32 diamonds per. Okay, so 32 diamonds for a full god set. That means mending, I'm breaking three, protection four. Uh, I'll do death strider, feather falling four, uh, and aqua affinity and respiration three. So these are the enchants that make up god armor, right? And to earn those full 32 diamonds per set, we really need everything on this list. Because I don't think anybody's going to pay for just the mending and breaking through protection 4. So this means that we're going to have to set up a few villagers. We're going to have to set up at least 1 to 2 armorers. We're going to have to get librarians. Let's see, that is... Right, so this is currently what's on the menu. Oh, and additionally, make this place finally presentable. All right, so now that I actually had a good plan for setting everything up, it was time to get to work on the first step, making the base pretty. And this took a pretty long time, from mining materials to designing all of it, but the end result was worth it. Also, I didn't mention this before, but the original purpose of this base was an XP bottle factory. Normally in survival situations, I don't tend to make farms for the things I grind. That is, except for XP bottles. Due to them being exclusively traded by villagers, I always like to set up a good way of gathering them. That's what these guys are for. One side turns melons and pumpkins into emeralds on a one-for-one -one trade. The other side turns emeralds into either XP bottles or enderpearls in a one-for-one -one trade. So I already have an emerald output, and I can use the XP from villager trading and the bottles to enchant the gear. Now all that's left is to make the right villagers to make god armor. And I did this through a zombification machine. You see, Minecraft zombification mechanics work differently for each difficulty. Zombie villagers can't spawn if it's on easy mode. You have a 50-50 chance of spawning one on normal mode, and they will always spawn on hard mode. And because life seal is on normal, around half of my villagers will despawn if I put them through the machine. Meaning that I'll just need to put a lot of them through it to get enough cured villagers. Because as you might know, curing a villager gives you a big discount. With this discount, I set up every enchant needed for god armor. In the end, I should have every single armor enchant for one emerald and one book each. Along with a cured armor smith meaning I can get full unenchanted diamond for 4 emeralds total. And since my base... 
And since my base automatically produces emeralds, I can create an infinite amount of god sets with this setup. Just as I was finishing this up, I was telling some of my other Lifesteal members about my business plan, and I already got an order! Hey, hey Claw Pierce, how much will you do for a stack of diamond blocks? Uh, I ain't no, I ain't what do no you sand, want? Right? Uh, I don't know, I don't really I need, need anything right now, man. I, I can't really help you if you don't need anything, honestly. Oh yeah, what how many god sets can I buy? Uh, is that homie or someone well, who buys oh my god, True. for a stack of diamond... Of uh, diamond blocks, yeah. Let's see, well it's 32%. 18? I guess so. 18, st 18, 18 sets? Yeah. I'll do 18 sets. 18 god sets, yeah, okay. For real? Right. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna- okay, bet. I gotta give one to Terry. Maypig wanted to buy 18 fully maxed out god sets for a stack of diamond blocks. This was perfect. I already had a stack of diamond blocks waiting for me. All that was left now was to produce 18 god sets. Difficult? No. No, not at all. Time consuming, yes. Very much so. It took around three days for me to get enough sets. On the second day, he messaged me on Discord asking for four god picks for 20 diamond blocks. Now that's a good deal. But it did mean I needed more villagers. Back to the zombification chamber then. Three days later, I was ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the deal of the century. Hello. How are you? I'm I'm great. I just uh I've been working on your order for the past three days. So uh it's all done. I built a melon farm in my spare time. It was pretty uh, good. Good. Cool. Alright, uh should I go to spawn? Yeah, I'll meet you there. If, if there's you ever can a judge. take him to court. <gasps> oh I should do that! What would I could sue him. Should I sue him? Yeah. Oh. He actually did it to Terry. Oh, I, we, we could do that. That'd be cool. I kind of want to now. Every time I come here, this place is looking better and better. Really? I can't put my finger... No, no, absolutely not. It, it's getting vandalized. Okay. Yeah, That's yeah. A big problem. Uh, uh, I know which... Don't don't step on the far left. You were one pressure plate away. It would have exploded the floor. All right. I think Leo set that up. Unless, this, unless they got rid of it. They might have gotten rid of it. <laughs> Never mind, that, was, that wasn't that wasn't the trap. No, because because we were walking the other day. Me and Zam were walking in, and Leo goes, "Okay, do not step on this pressure plate." <laughs> he, was, was like, oh, okay. he was messing with you. He, was, <laughs> oh. <laughs> he put explosives under my floor. Uh, that'd be crazy. Okay, Mepic. Yeah. Check it out. Is the sharpness book an added bonus? Yeah, yeah, I just gave you little bonuses because I had to fill up oh, some space. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's the 17 sets I owe you plus the four diamond pickaxes. Oh, this is cool. It's so nice to look at. So I know boring. it's... I know. It's going to be in the thumbnail. Here, yeah, I, have, I only have colored shulker boxes to give you back. That's fine. Oh, you can good. have that gold. Oh, thank you. Uh, also, here's it. the 20 diamond blocks I owe you. Thank you. Oh, this is Pleasure sick. doing business. You are now my most valued customer. So, uh, oh, if there's anything oh, else you need, if there's anything else you need, you know, let me know. Oh, that's so cool. I feel so cool. Yeah. That, that's, I'll probably that's order right. more later. I kind of want to make a wall of shulker, or just like armor stands. I think that'd All be right. really funny. Cool. Yeah. It, it deals a deal. Yeah. Let's shake hands on this on this partnership. Yeah, good. Yeah, that was a rough handshake, but I I like it. It's firm, shows character. Yeah, that's a man's handshake right there. Let's give this guy a handshake. <laughs> yeah, boy. Thank you so much for watching. This is a new, experimental type of content for me, but I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these types of videos. And don't forget to check out the other content I have on my channel. There's a lot of PvP and SMP stuff, so if that's your thing, definitely stick around. See you in the next one. Bye bye.